Tom Kerridge is in the kitchen for us now. And today, you're making us something, aren't you, which you're cooking at the pub in the Park Festival, right? I am indeed, yes. I'm doing a crispy pork taco, which is super flavoursome, really kind of easy to put together. I'm going to build all the ingredients, but these are the sort of things that you can buy in the supermarket, all right? Okay. The pork bit is the quite important thing, though, like the pork belly. Who doesn't love pork belly and crackling? It's amazing. Yes. And one of the questions we always ask the chefs is how do you get the best crackling? There's loads of different methods to it, but one that I really like doing is a brining method, OK? So you okay. get, get your pork belly okay, and you score the top. You can see the top's mm -hmm. been scored. And then here, we make a brine. Now, this is... It all sounds really technical, a 10% brine, it OK? Does, uh, yeah. I, that is literally one part salt to 10 parts water. Okay. Whisk together and you pour the salt over the pork and you leave it overnight, OK? Ah. And what happens is through that brining process, that helps the flavour, but it's also going to help that crack it. And, and you it just sounds covering weird. It. Exactly, just cover it, leave it overnight. And it sounds a bit weird, doesn't it, that you're putting moisture onto something to try and get something crispy and crackled. Yeah. But what it does, you take it out, and the salt draws that moisture and helps that skin look just a little bit drier. Yeah. Yeah. And then what we do is we put the pork belly onto a rack. Try and take as much of the paper off it as possible. <laughs> you don't want the paper. And then we're going to roast that into an oven. So that's been brined overnight. You dry it, OK? It's really important to get that dry. And you so you patted that dry as pat well? Pat it dry. It goes into an oven, 160 degrees centigrade. Two and a half, three hours, OK? That pork belly will cook and it will go, it will go beautiful, all right? And after... I'll just wash my hands. After it's been cooked, comes out oh. and it looks like that. So you have oh, goodness me. So you this don't have to do anything other than just nothing. sit it in there. For and the salt, time. you can see where the salt's coming and that crackling's amazing, isn't it? Mm. All right, so at this point, you get it done. And now you can leave this to go cold now, all right? Chill. It's no bother. We can use it straight away if you want to. I mean, we're all tempted. Look at you. The first thing you're doing Sorry. is eating, eating the crispy okay. crackling. Yeah. I bet you can chill it all morning. <laughs> really? Remove the crackling. Now, well, this is to go into the tacos. So the idea of removing this crackling is so that they can be bits and bobs. They're crunch, texture, flavour. The beautiful thing about tacos is that we're always looking for lots of layers and layers of flavour, all right? And then we're going to just slice this pork belly. And you can see where it's been brined, that brining process, that pork, it's still just... It looks like it's a little bit pink, but it's not. It's almost like making bacon. Bacon is pink, it's pork that's been cured, it's the salt mm -hmm. process, right? And it's nice and moist, full flavoured, and then you just pan fry it, OK? That, oh, then, yeah. is going to create this beautiful, incredible, super delicious pork, nice and crispy. Now, to go with it, I've got a load of flavours in front of them. Please feel free to start making. Yeah, you sorry. have uh, apple sauce, homemade apple sauce. Kebab, chilli. Kebab, no, chillies. They're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Super flavoursome. So you've got homemade apple sauce, goes with pork, classic. Yeah. A coleslaw that we've made with celeriac. Now, this is a root vegetable. Absolutely delicious, really earthy, super tasty, fantastic. Here, we've got pickled red onions. Now, oh. these literally is sugar, vinegar, fennel seeds brought up to the boil, poured over the top of the red onions and left to cool. Now, if you don't want to make that mix, we've all got jars of pickled onions at home. Yeah. Once you get to the bottom of it, don't throw that pickle mix away. Save that, slice some onions, bring that up to the boil, pour it over the onions. Oh, it's wow. already done, you do it. The job's been done for you. Now, to oh, go yeah, with this, doing that. I am going to make... Taramasalata. And you might think, what? what? Why are we putting that kind of, like, salty cod's row? It's absolutely delicious. It works beautifully with pork. If you think of, like... Do a, I put that in here with all the other ingredients? All of those ingredients, all of those flavours, all of, all of in it here. in together. All of it in, including the like taramasalata. Yeah. Now, the taramasalata, this is it. This is cod's row, salted cod's row, cured, smoked. And you just cut it up into little pieces. I'm going to put that into the blender. Now, the idea of making this, if you think of a the most wonderful savoury salad that we can think of, and one of the most famous, is obviously Caesar salad. Now, Caesar salad is made with that beautiful dressing. Now, that dressing is all about the anchovies, anchovies that go through yeah. it. Now, they don't... T it doesn't taste of anchovies, but it's got that wonderful, smoky, savoury flavour that goes with it. No, I made it so, here, I've got garlic, I've got <laughs> a slice of bread that I've soaked in milk, thrown that in, some... Uh, the salt cod and the juice of one lemon, OK? And we squeeze that in, and we're just going to bring it together... Oh, my gosh. ..just like a mayonnaise, OK? So it's very, very similar. We blend it, and as it's blending, we're going to slowly 
add oil. And, and as you add that oil, <laughs> as it's spurting out the top. <laughs> this is, oh. all right, see, this is where you can get away with wearing a white dress. <laughs> 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 so as it comes together, it'll eventually end up with a mayonnaise style like that. Oh. And all of those flavours you mix together, it's, that's exactly... It's you know, so it's, delicious. It's perfect. And the tarama salata is... Mm. I wouldn't have done it it's without you saying it. it. I wouldn't have done and it. And you can make it thinner if you wanted to. If you yeah. could buy some shop bought stuff, let it down with a little bit of mayonnaise, it works just like a Caesar dressing. Imagine that, just dressing it over the top. It's beautiful. And that's what we're serving tonight. Pub in the park starts in Marlowe. In oh. Marlowe? So you're, what, across the way from the restaurant then, are you? It, pretty much, yeah. It's, yeah. Easy, it's easy for me to get home yes. at the end of there the night. I like exactly. that. Yeah, Sister Sledge are playing tonight. They'll finish it around oh. about 10 o'clock. I could be home by quarter to 11. Wow! <laughs> that's, that's, that's the sort of night out we like. That's a blast from the past, mm. isn't it, eh? Yes, yeah. amazing. Um, did you put extra crispy crackling on yours? I'm going to eat that separately. Oh, I'm, hello, I'm, OK. I'm I like your up. style. I like your style. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Absolute okay. pleasure. Amazing. All those flavours work so nicely together, especially with the kebab chilies. It's mm. just superb. We've done that thing again. Um, it makes me very happy. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 uh, mm, details mm. of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs. Download the free This Morning app.